So welcome, welcome to our last, uh, actually our last book club Zoom this year <laughs> in 2016. So we're wrapping up The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, which has been an absolutely fantastic book. Uh, before we get into kind of that discussion, just a few announcements. So what we're doing is we're going to be uh, starting the next book, the next round of you know sessions that we're going to do every week on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern. It's gonna start on January 5th. We're gonna start back up. And uh, we'll be reading Money, Master the Game by Tony Robbins. So if you wanna you know, get, get the book and pick it up before we start, uh, you have plenty of time. And uh, also, you know, if you're watching this, you might be seeing it on the page already. You can also you know, get registered and join our community if you wanna do that and check out you know, um, the business that we all use to pretty much learn how to leverage you know media how to learn principles of online business building all of that is there so if you want to check that out and um and if you're just watching this uh in the 8fm group which is our community then you can check out the link and actually you can promote it now where you can add in your id so everyone can now promote it publicly you can invite um, your leads your prospects your communities to watch this book club so we can have even more people participate and take part because honestly as you're going to hear, I think everyone here has really like vastly benefited from doing this book club. I know I personally have. It's been absolutely amazing. Uh, we've gotten some, you know, we've only, uh, I mean, we do uh, like a chapter or a couple chapters a week. And so we've just been through two books. <laughs> but uh, we've been doing this for, I don't even know how long, five months, maybe? Six, four months, maybe? I'm not sure. I think we started in August or September sometime around then. Um, so yeah, really fantastic books on here and uh, looking forward to having you participate and join us in January. And if you're watching the replay, thanks for watching the replay. So wrapping up the book, uh, there is just two chapters left, Living the Slight Edge and Where to Go From Here. So really it's a, it's a real wrap up of the book. Um, I like that, you know, the very last chapter, it's like, you know, there's nothing else to learn. It's just really implementation, right? It's always about implementation. And so he kind of just wraps up the entire book uh, with just like, it looked like sentences from the ends of each chapter, which was awesome. And uh, in terms of living the slight edge, so just kind of my own personal things that stood out. Um, I like the quote that you will become as small as your controlling desire or as great as your dominant aspiration. And so I love that. Um, in, you know, always focusing on dreaming bigger, always focusing on, on our vision, right? Not being controlled by, you know, these smaller things that can sometimes rule us or even focusing on the negatives or focusing on the lack of things, lack of results and whatever we may be doing, but instead focusing forward and focusing on where we want to be headed and then taking those small daily actions that are totally doable. You know, that's what I love about this book. He makes everything so attainable and so almost easy to digest because it's not this huge thing that, you know, this massive superhuman willpower that we have to have. It's not, right? It's like he says, it's easy to do and it's easy not to do these things that bring us closer to, to the things that we want, whether it's a business goal, whether it's a health goal, a relationship goal, a life goal, like anything like that. Um, and then he breaks that down in, you know, chapter 17, where he talks about different aspects of our life and what we can really do and how to create it into something that's tangible as a habit, you know, where we can do one small thing each day and even each of those areas. And, in 30 days, in six months, in a year, in two years, things can be drastically different, right? Everything can change so much, even though it may not even, you know, the funny thing is it may not even be that much time, but when we're doing it every day, we may feel like, you know, it's so far away, but it, it's like so much can happen, right? So much can happen. So um, that's kind of what stood out to me. Uh, I don't know if uh, Via or uh, Alicia, if you want to jump out and kind of any any thoughts on the book or on the last chapters. It's like a Christmas story. <laughs> a wonderful life. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going back to, you know, what if we weren't here, you know, and um, we got to create what we want here. So that's what my last chapter is titled. Um, it's a wonderful life. 
Um, I don't know about y'all, it's because I don't have 17 chapters, I only have 12. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my lessons are um, a little shorter, I'm sure, of y'all's because I don't have the uh, 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 new editions. Um, but I'm, I'm, I've got to finish writing out um, all of my dreams. I think that's a big part of it. And, um, and winning is a habit. Unfortunately, so is losing. We've got some such great quotes. And um, that was just kind of my biggest takeaway. If you don't um, write down what you plan to impact, it won't happen. And um, finding, you know, what all do you want to mean? So um, there's like a lot of little things that um, I realized, you know, I want to add. Um, just like just this last day, I was like all these little things that, you know, I really want to do. I really want to go up in a hot air balloon. I really want to have this like um, photo shoot with my daughter you know, in our mermaid tail. You know, we just haven't done that going, you know, I, I can do these little things and it's just putting my mind to writing it down and setting a goal this next year, say, we're going to go on a hot air balloon. We're going to go and have this like mermaid, you know, photo shoot that we should do and, you know, or whatever, all these little things that doesn't, may not seem a lot to some people, but man, dude, it would be huge, you know, for, to accomplish some of these things. And those um, are the little dreams that you have in your life that you need to write down. And it has the price to pay to get there. And when do you plan to start it? And your simple daily action plan to reach that goal. So I am working through this right now. I'm finishing up this interview and um, applying some of this as I can, along with getting proxies so I can get, get my next traffic. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you, if you want to jump out. Uh, thank you for sharing, Alicia. Yeah, I mean, I think like it's, they're not small things. I think that's super cool if you could, you know, if you put those on your list and do that. I mean, I've never gone in a hot air balloon. I've never had a mermaid photo shoot, but they both actually sound like things I'm going to add to my list <laughs> because it's awesome. And it's like these little things that we may think are, are little, but that's like life, right? That's life. That's what makes life so awesome and so amazing. And just one quote that stood out to me is everything you do is important, right? And it's the little things, the big things, it's, it's everything. It's like our daily life and to always remember that because that's, that's the memories we have, right? That's what we cherish most. And going in a hot air balloon, I mean, that, that sounds like it's like such a cool thing to experience and have as a memory too. Um, and doing things like that, always doing things like that, because that accumulates to all of these amazing experiences in our life, right? So I think that's super cool. V, I don't know if you want to jump out. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree on 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 that. And what I've got from uh, to write to write everything down uh, from chapter seventeen. He says, um, uh, I also made a video uh, topic about it. It's also a great uh, thing to do in this book to, to make videos about these topics. So I made this from, from uh, chapter 17. And uh, write all your goals and dreams down with a starting plan and a daily discipline uh, about health, happiness, relationship, personal development, I, uh, I, I'm reading as finances, career, and my impact, my impact to the world. So it makes you feel, think about what, for especially the last one, what will be my impact to the world? So that, that, that keeps me uh, thinking about what's my, what's my impact to the world? What, are, what, do, what do I want to be my impact to the world? I write it down. I, I made a video about it. and and yeah, it, it keeps you all also into action, the daily, the daily action steps. So I, I've got a lot about, a, a lot from, from this book, just daily action steps. And for everybody, it's, it's different. For Alicia, it's, it's, it's her things. And for Maya, there are other things. And for Terry and for you, Kat, it's, 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 it's for everybody, it, their own, own things, but, but very important. So. Thank you, Via. Yeah, absolutely. Right? It's like these 
it's what it, what's important to us, right? And other people don't even have to understand that. It's just what is important to us in our life. Um, that's why I like that, you know, the quote that everything you do is important, right? And it's just looking at our actions every day and understanding that, um, you know, the things we do matter, the little things we do matter in the way that it affects our life. And sometimes it's easy to not, you know, just to let things slide or not do that one thing or, right? And it's, it's, it's knowing that all of these things matter so much and just being aware of that. Right. So um, I don't know, Terry, I know, I think you had some internet connection issues. I don't know if you can jump yeah, out and share. Out when I'm back. Um, yeah, this book has been, it's felt like one of those really like a turning point kind of book for me. Like it just, yeah, I don't think I've read such an impactful book for a few years and it's just shifted a whole bunch of stuff in in the way I am living my life and also how I'm feeling about my life and, and the actual results that I'm seeing. Like it's sort of across the board in my relationships, in my business, you know, as a parent with my kids, on the land here, you know, the, the, you know, I was sharing my story in one of the other ones about, you know, we've got all these fruit trees that needed you know, weeding and mulching and some love. And I'd been thinking, oh, I've got to set aside this whole weekend and just do this blitz on all the fruit trees. But I was like, no, I'm going to apply this flight edge principle and I'm just going to do one a day. And literally in 15 minutes, I can have totally weeded, fed with good nutrients and mulched all around and watered in. And so like in the last bunch of weeks, I think I've got maybe seven or eight trees to go. And, you know, and I've, I've, um, there's just this whole, all our fruit trees are just thriving, you know, because I apply the slight edge. That's just one example. And um, I think the biggest thing is that I really feel like my belief and my knowing and my understanding of how the small daily things compound over time means that I'm relating totally differently to what I do with my day and, and fit and, not judging the small things as input, not important or not seeing results immediately and thinking, oh, I'm sort of, am I wasting my time? All that questioning has gone out of my brain. <clears throat> and I absolutely know that all those small things are adding up and I've already seen the compounding effect. And it's just given me this really lovely sense of uh, kind of inner peace around my actions, even the small ones, and a real confidence knowing that they are it's all it's all compounding it's all making a difference and it and all those small things are really important so that's that's felt quite transformational because i hadn't realized how much of a sort of background chatter i had in my head about judging whether i was doing enough or expecting yeah my the thinking around you know the breakthrough kind of thinking the 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 quantum leap kind of expectation that he talks about and kind of calls us all on around you know Success is, you know, through lots of the slight edge steps over time. Like the quantum leap, the, the, the quantum leap or the, um, the breakthrough happens because of all those things, not just out of the blue for no reason at all. So, <laughs> um, I've been absolutely loving it. And in my relationships, on you know, kids, with my husband, with other people, just, yeah, lots of, lots of examples where it's... Um, really had a really positive impact on my life yeah and also I mean also noticing in myself and others the sort of downward you know noticing and I have to catch myself of not you know judging or saying too much because <laughs> um you know when I can see myself or others take small daily actions that send them in the downward spiral rather than an upward spiral and allowing you know allowing people to have their lives and make their own choices. But I feel like I've really got a different perspective now um, on, on sort of an overview of what's, what's happening there. Yeah. And in my business, absolutely seeing things just compound and loving that deep sense of knowing that um, things are moving forward in many different ways. Yeah. That's some of my, my uh, reflections. It feels fantastic. I literally want to, um, I just want everyone to read this. I'm going to get a copy of the teenage one for my son because for my he's just about to become a teenager. 
And I just think it's a life skill. It's a life perspective and a life skill that absolutely, if you take it on, sets you up for a lot of great things happening in your life. Mm. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, Terry. Yeah, it's like what he talked about, right, in the earlier chapters about the philosophy that we kind of build off of. And this is definitely a life philosophy that I've incorporated into my life. And I got to say, um, Terry, I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool because you've been very open about, you know, what, like, habits you've taken on and kind of your successes along the way. And I think it's really cool to have seen you transform over the course of reading this book because you've been very, you know, it's, it's awesome because you're sharing uh, from like, from your action of, you know, jumping in the Creek. I think that's amazing that you do that in the morning to, and the thing is that all of these things also like, it's like an individual action of just jumping in the Creek, but that it, it shows in other parts and it's almost like it can lead into other positive habits that can stem from that, that are, that appear to be separate, but they're not. It's like everything kind of intertwines. And so I think it's so cool that you did that. And then even like with the fruit trees. And now, uh, you know, we did that kind of completion challenge uh, starting uh, from last mm. week. And you completed something so huge on your list. Um, but the way that you approached it is that it was taking those small daily actions to just get it complete. It's not like you sat down and did the whole thing in one sitting, right? You, you, you actually applied the slight edge here in, you know, I'm going to get this done by this day. And it wasn't necessarily a lot, but it got you into that action where the more you did, the more you did, <laughs> you know, it's like it compounded off yeah. itself, which I think is super awesome. So um, I think and it's it feels awesome. good. Like a book club, uh, slight edge success story. <laughs> it's awesome. totally. I mean, I love one of the other chapters he touches on is around, happiness and around cultivating a sense of well-being and happiness is like the it's like the the catalyst or the you know this what allows you to actually do the slight edge stuff and the slight edge stuff is what allows you to kind of actually succeed in whatever area you apply it to and I just generally feel like I've been in a happier space all around and one of those things like you said is like jumping jumping in the creek every morning and it's it just feels so good and it's become already such a habit like a positive habit that it feels really strange that someone stayed over the other night and we sort of woke up and were chatting in the morning and I didn't get to kind of run down straight away I did as soon as she headed off but it's like if really my body felt really strange not not doing this um just this thing that I'd found a rhythm that really felt like it supported me having a really um awesome day and so I think that for me is an example of how, yeah, when you do that thing daily and then it just becomes part of your life, it's not something I have to think up and go, oh, do I feel like it? Do I feel like running down and jumping in the creek this morning? I'm like, it just, it's like my energy is, I'm, I'm ready for it. I want to. Um, I'm not going through all this, it's like having to decide each time, like go through all that decision making. I think when you get in these ha positive habits, positive daily rituals for yourself in whatever area, they do. They just become like a rhythm that feels good and produces um, positive results. And it's not like you fight, you're not fighting yourself around those little decisions. It's just something that flows. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, and uh, same with Via. You know, you, you said you've been sh shooting videos and I remember how you shared about taking your walks during the day. And, uh, and honestly, like all of us meeting here, right? You know, Alicia, and thank you, Vicky, for coming on. Um, but us meeting here every week, there is an effect it's having on our life. You know, um, I think, you know, maybe we're thinking even in terms of, we keep saying kind of daily actions, the weekly things, the monthly things, the traditions that we have, even throughout the year, they compound and they create certain, certain things in our life that really affect us. It does show how seemingly small things, even over longer periods of time, you know, not doing them necessarily every day, but every week or every month can can create that positive impact, right? And I know for sure, like I do feel like because there's been a couple that uh, book clubs we missed, I feel the loss of it, right? Like Terry's saying about, you know, not being able to jump in the creek. And it's because we've built a habit here 
And so, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, I, I like, yeah, holidays are coming and stuff, but I'm going to miss the book club <laughs> for the next like couple of weeks. Yeah. I was like, the next one. one. I'm like, I want to choose one that's in between. <laughs> that I can still, you know, not necessarily meet, but like just, yeah, be in that. I'm definitely going to stay in that rhythm of reading every day. Absolutely. Even with this break. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm going to miss this because it's like, yeah. just, so it's such a part of the week. Like I look forward to it and kind of, you know, look forward and like reading and stuff too. And it's all, and, and also, I mean, if you think about it, like we've chosen this book and we chose the other book before, but that the habit itself of reading, right. And we kind of support that even more through this book club where it's solidifying this really big habit and look how much this book has affected all of our lives. Right. And it's just one book. Right. And then, you know, influence also was very, it affected us so much in business and the way we viewed things. Um, and I'm excited about the next one. You know, I, I've read some of it, but I haven't read the whole book. So I'm really excited to read it as kind of new content. And obviously Tony Robbins is amazing. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that book. Um, but yeah. So um, if there's any closing thoughts, uh, if anyone wants to jump out one last time, closing remarks before we kind of wrap up our last um, zoom <laughs> i uh, totally agree with you kat uh, also the reading and uh, the accountability to be here every week and to get so much about it and to support each other so uh i really will miss it and uh but i will re uh, uh i will read the books uh, every week and uh, we see each other in uh, atlanta and Otherwise, uh, before they are on the, on, the, on the book club. So I'm really going to miss it. But I wish you a very good holidays and a Christmas Eve and everything. <laughs> Thank you, Via. Thank you. And Vicky, I don't know if you can jump out. Hi. Hi, everyone. How are you going? Just listening in again. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, just off to work again. So I um, yeah, really enjoy listening to you guys. Is a really inspirational. So thank you. Thank you, Vicky. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for coming on. Awesome, so, awesome. <laughs> have a, awesome. Have a great night. Have a great day. Um, and uh, speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. 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 On the next Zoom somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You too, Vicky. Awesome. All right. Take care, guys. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Uh, and you, Alicia, you want to jump out last last few words before you close out? Oh, I just appreciate you, Kat, and um, putting this together and hope more people can jump on it next year. And excited they took my book suggestion because <laughs> I've got it right here. I'll probably finish it for the holidays, so I'm ready for the whole year, right? <laughs> That's the way it work. work ahead and use the slide edge and keep running. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> Thanks so much. I appreciate all of you so much. You know, this is really fantastic. I love our, our group dynamic that we've uh, built here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be really awesome to have more people on and to kind of have this uh, continue on and, you know, kind of affect uh, more people because this we're implementing literally the slide edge and doing these hangouts too, right? And it's affecting our lives in multiple ways, which I think is super cool. So, so thank you so much. I so appreciate you. And uh just it's awesome here to kind of you know last last time in 2016 and if you're watching the replay of this if you're out there watching the replay of this go and get yourself a copy of the book and read it <laughs> yeah definitely read the light edge transformational it's just brilliant yeah yeah um true. and what we have too is that you know if you want to read the slight edge and even uh watch the replays of our previous hangouts those are accessible as well if you want to just read over the holidays and kind of uh, tune into our previous discussions and in the meantime pick up uh money master the game by tony robbins you know uh and get set and then whoever you know whoever's inviting you to this hangout um they can set you up with how to actually be live on the panel with us so what we're going to do is we're going to continue zooms and we're going to have live zooms in this kind of discussion format and then we're going to post the replay up onto the page after uh, and then that replay will be up for a week until our next Zoom, and then that will be posted after. So we're going to continue in that kind of style. Um, but if you want to post comments on the page, if you have any feedback, any questions or anything, then we'll definitely skim through those comments first before we, we start each Zoom. 
And that way, if you, I don't know if you don't want to participate or if you can't be on live, that's some way you can participate with us now um, in an even more interactive way because we have comments on the page. So, you know, if you're seeing this, um, let us know what you think in the comments. <laughs> and uh, if you're excited about the next book or if you've read it or if you're going to pick it up or, and join us live. So thank you, ladies, so much. Appreciate you. And uh, see you January 5th. Uh, 5 p.m. Eastern with uh, Money Masters a Game by Tony Robbins. So bye. Awesome. Happy holidays. Bye. Thanks. Bye, guys. Happy holidays. Bye. 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 bye.